Hearings in court might be among the most stressful times in a person's life. Some defendants, nevertheless, go too far and wind up acting disrespectfully to the point of outright inappropriateness. So in this video, we are going to talk about the three craziest convict reactions to life. Sentence. The video is going to be amazing so make sure you stick to the end. Number 3. Lucas Kendall. A security guard at a Miami-Dade club, charged with killing one man and wounding another in a 2012 shooting was found guilty. Lucas Kendall faces life in prison after a jury convicted him on charges of murder and attempted murder in the June 2012 shooting in the parking lot of Club Lex, a popular strip club on Northwest 27th Avenue. Kendall acted as his own lawyer and claimed self-defense in the shooting. The sentencing date was unknown. Because he made that decision of representing himself, the jury didn't get the full picture. And if they would have had the full picture, I think their verdict would have been different. Public defender Carlos Gonzalez said, Kijuan Bird was killed in the shooting. Michael Smathers survived but was left paralyzed. Kendall reportedly stated he saw the men inside a vehicle rolling a joint and heard one of them saying they were going to kill someone. Smathers, who testified at the trial, denied that and said they were both shot in the car. He is guilty. Thank you, Jesus, he is guilty, Claire Bailey, Bird's cousin, sat outside the courtroom. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now let's get back to our topic. Number 2. Kayla Mendoza The young Florida woman just minutes before a deadly head-on collision that killed two on the Sawgrass Expressway was sentenced to 24 years in prison Monday. Kayla Mendoza pleaded guilty in February to two charges of DUI manslaughter in the November 2013 deaths of Caitlin Ferrant and her best friend Marisa Catronio, both at the time. She had been facing a maximum of 30 years in prison will also serve six years of probation after her prison sentence and will have a lifetime driving van. Before she was sentenced, a tearful Mendoza read a letter in court to ask for forgiveness. I know that I have made mistakes and the outcome is so much more than I could ever imagine, she said. Mendoza also spoke about Ferrant and Catronio. No matter how much time passes they will never leave my heart. I think about them every day and I regret my choices every day, she said. The families of Ferrant and Catronio begged the judge for a maximum of 30 years and addressed Mendoza. Kayla, you changed all that, you took all those dreams away, Mother Christine Ferrant said. And then I had to make the choice to pull her off of life support, that's something a mother should never have to do. No matter how much time passes, I'm gonna live with that in my heart every day. Number 1. Adrian Dunn a Laplace man pleaded guilty Monday to second-degree murder in the April 6 shooting death of Keith Williams of Vachery. Adrian Dunn was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of suspension or parole by 23rd Judicial District Judge Guy Holdridge. Dunn's plea came after hours of discussion between defense attorneys Louis Scott and Susan Jones and Street James Parrish First Assistant District Attorney Thomas Kleber Jr. The family is emotionally ready for this, Clybert said, comparing their lives since Williams' murder to a roller coaster. Williams reportedly went to a Vachery car wash the night he was killed to wash his red 1995 Cadillac Eldorado. As he visited with a friend, Huey Albra, also a Vachery, two armed men wearing ski masks approached them. One of those men was Adrian Dunn. Dunn and his accomplice, identified by police as Reuben Bell of Laplace, forced the men into the Cadillac hitting Williams over the head with a 9mm pistol. After being robbed, Williams and Albra were driven to a gravel road along La Place. As Williams got out of the car, Dunn shot him in the forehead. Albert, who tried to run away, was shot in the shoulder and in the side. He stumbled to the shoulder of La Place, where he was found by a passing motorist. He and Williams were taken to Thibodox Regional Medical Center, where Williams later died. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.